So you, I might be out of the loop, you might have said something about this, but last year you did Truth or Dare. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yes. Is there a reason why you stopped doing that for the other convention? Because I think somebody, I think uh, Derek chewed somebody's gum. <laughs> yeah. So, if, I mean, now that he's not here, the odds are higher it would be me doing that. <laughs> It was, it was fun when they didn't call your name, but when they did, the, the, the dread that rushes over you is just the worst. I squatted a guy like 10 times. Like, wait, 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 I threw up my quads for the rest of the convention. I like, yeah. walk upstairs. We were, yeah, people were getting hurt. <laughs> you know what? I never I think I told the story about last year when I, I did it, I took some girl's phone and I called her dad. <laughs> You may have, but I'm gonna call it here. Are you here? Yeah. You're here! Oh. Yeah, so, so one day, day it's it's keeps, I'm going to hire you. And oh, okay, okay. Yeah, you just 
not showing up. We, we just get paid. Yeah, and free shirts. Yeah. Okay, okay, y'all keep going. Cool. I, I think we honestly like you know we want to do like we're kind of kind of doing a movie now like we're working on version four point one. Yeah. Now. Uh, yeah, we're still working on that. We'll have some stuff to show soon, but um, we're writing a book. Yeah, we're going to book and all kinds of stuff. So I think just trying to explore things we haven't kind of done before, you know. You know, I was sitting uh, the plane writing parts of the book, and I kept thinking like, I failed every English class. I have no right to be doing this right now, but I'm doing it. It's gonna be great. Well, you were we were talking about our friend Lindsay here, who is like, oh, it's our 11th anniversary of meeting her in PAX. Mm -hmm. And the first time we ever met her, she cried in the bathroom she because did. we made her leave our booth. But that's what Sean meant. Sean pointed out, I quit my job and started a company at 23. That's insane. Yeah, that's a weird thing about it now. At the time, I was like, yeah, that's what you did. It's like, no, that's not the case. It was weird. So yeah, I've almost, I've almost been self-employed for 10 years, which is pretty nuts. Uh, hi, have you guys uploaded any videos where you initially liked them, but have grown to dislike them? Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> um, man, uh, I'm trying to think of specific ones, there's so many. You know, a lot of it on my personal channel, um, uh, whoa, like, you know, I'm a different person now than I was then, and there's one of this lady who kept yelling at us saying that we were morons at Comic-Con and we just kept escalating her to get more upset because it was funny and now I watch this video and I'm like, ah oh, shit, I'm really like, mean to this lady. <laughs> like, I don't know, you know, it's something like that where it's like, oh, I shouldn't have known that. If I was a kid and didn't know any better. Yeah, it's lots of stuff like that. I, I think most of the main 64 stuff is just like building a catalog though. I don't look at like a lot of that stuff and go like, this is awful, I wish we never put this up. For me, it's just videos that are like, I thought were like cool and cinematic at the time. Oh and then yeah. You watch them now and it's like, oh yeah, you know, hold her, 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 the haunted Wii was such a fun <laughs> video. And you pull it up now and it's like, what do we, what? Is he have a bag on, he has a bag on his head and he says he's Fred Claus. Like, what does that even mean? <laughs> What's a joke? That's how, that's how you are at every anime expo. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. All right, I take it back. <laughs> there you have it. Hey, long time listener, first time caller. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> I think we definitely will. It, uh, it's just a matter of that, that that Frieza one took so long. It really did. It was uh, it was hard to like set everything up. And once it, once we got filming, it was fast. But you had to have like every prop ready to go because it was all done physically in camera. So it was just hard for some reason. It was just hard. It's like oh my oh I forgot we need a dragon. Oh we need a spaceship. Oh we got you know it's like you keep thinking of details in Dragon Ball and it's like oh we have to see that. Oh no. So it took forever, and we're working on a lot of other stuff, you know, so we haven't had time, but I would love to do, we gotta do the Cell Saga or something, like, um, yeah, I think we have, I think we, I think we need to, definitely. I think Sean is not Hey, okay, Sean, which saga would you want to do? Go ahead and pick one. Yeah, I don't give a shit. <laughs> you guys always, since the beginning of cast, like, family members, and all your skits and stuff, uh, what's your favorite character that a sibling, a parent has played, and uh, any stories attached to that? Uh, my brother played um, Thark the Man Possum. Yeah. <laughs> and that was on a whim. The person who was going to get to do it, I think it was our friend John, in the last minute he had to work and he couldn't do it. So I called up Luke, who wasn't doing anything, he could do it. And we filmed. He was great, I thought. He did a really good job. Classic. Yeah, except for. We gave him the script of things to say, and he kept saying opossum, oh, and he wouldn't stop, and then, like, look, it's possum. And he kept asking, can you just cross off the O's? No, I can't. That's how it's fucking spelled. <laughs> say it, possum. Like, that's what's right about Luke. But he did a great job. And he also was a goth that one time, too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. He was a good sport. And he was the, uh, the urn-smashing guy. 
What's that? Veteran smashing guy too? Yeah, and now he's a teacher, so. My favorite is, uh, it's an obscure video, but when uh, Sean's dad plays a story narrator, and uh, we did it, we did it, Ubisoft hired us to do a video for a game called 187 Rider Die. <laughs> They were like, yeah, just make a skit around this game. It's like, you know, gang wars, turf wars, you know, and uh, here's the script to the game so you know what happens in it. And it was the worst script ever, so it was like, why don't we just have your dad read it word for word? <laughs> and he read it so properly, he was just, hmm, my crew gone riding with you. I could put nine slugs in you, bitch. <laughs> you know, it was like so properly, for some reason, that just gets me every time. So, I really like your grandma with the snake knife. Oh, yeah. Snake fork? Snake fork, yeah. That was weird. So, uh, like, personally, my dad is in the beginning of a Todd and Aaron video, and that is, like, it was on a whim to get him, and then he reads these lines, he's never done anything on camera or whatever, and then he's like, yeah, was, oh, where can I watch this? Uh, YouTube, but you probably shouldn't. No, no, I'm gonna show everyone at work. Oh, you definitely shouldn't do that. <laughs> So he watched it, and he showed everyone at work, and he's like, I didn't get any of it, but I thought it was funny, but I could have been in it more, so if you want me to be in more stuff, just let me know. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Right on, man. And then, uh, my dad always plays an old man oh, yeah. videos, and the first thing my dad did was, like, in 2008 for version 3, uh, it was the Wizard episode, and he just had to say the word sorcerer, and he'd never seen that word before. So, there's a, there's a sorcerer outside the house! <laughs> getting gold every single day. <laughs> He's the best. Uh, the hardest I think I've ever laughed during filming a video where it was like we had to stop filming because I was wrecking the sound. Because I was, I was holding the boom mic and dropping it. Because but there were, uh, he had to like allude to a dirty joke with a kid. Like, like at the end of uh, the Once Upon a Time Blu-ray that yeah. he did. He had to, he's reading a book and then it had like a racy ending so he, he won't read it to the kid. So he closes the book and he goes, Oh, I'm not going to read you the last part, but let me just say, yikes! <laughs> but, like, we were just like, okay, uh, just say for this next one, look into the camera and go, what was, I, I don't remember what the line was, it was something Yowzers. like, Yowzers. Yowzers. Yowzers! He was just supposed to say, Yowza! You know, can't read this to you, Yowza! So we were like, alright, recording, and he just went, I can't read this to ya. <laughs> I know your guys' schedule is probably pretty busy, and I know Tommy's schedule is probably pretty busy, but uh, is there any chance of a Gamer War 6? Yeah! No. I'm, I'm hoping. Every time you guys go to Tommy, he's in like, oh, now I'm in South Korea. <laughs> well, now I'm in New Zealand. Now I'm in Italy. So he's just going all over the place. Um, one day, I would love to film the next Gamer Wars. I think we should film it along, we should just follow along on his trips. And that's smart. Like, oh, like having it go worldwide, like Gamer Wars. Such a like, yeah. console wars go to every continent. Yeah, I mean, they fight in front of the Taj Mahal. Yeah. They fight in front of, like, the Coliseum. Okay, we'll do that. Yeah, yeah you should talk to me about funding that. That's a really good idea. Because every time, last time we talked to him, he's like, yeah, I was in Dubai, and they gave me a bunch of Ferraris. And it's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Save those for Gamer Wars. <laughs> he taught, he, he, my biggest... Like, I, you know, I don't know why I was saving this because I thought maybe it could happen, but now that I'm about to say it out loud, there's no way this will ever happen. Um, but he kept showing how his cousin is, uh, is Steven Tyler from Aerosmith. That's his cousin. Steven Tyler's real name is Steven, Steven, Tal Steven Tal Tallarico. That's, That's a true story. And they're always, he's always going to gigs and seeing him, and Johnny Depp is always there. So I was like, Tommy, if, just in the off chance, can you, could you ask Johnny Depp if he would do Gamer Wars? <laughs> can you imagine the surprise, like, instead of Garrett coming through here, like, like, you want to expect Garrett to show up and tell us to keep, you know, calm down with all the, you know, battling and all that? And instead, it's Johnny Depp. <laughs> what a twist that would be. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, you know. Sober, you know. 
Anyway, that's gonna happen. That was not gonna happen. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, were, were any of you, with all of your influence in the gaming industry, able to secure a pre-order for the Super Nintendo? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Aaron, from what I heard, when the pre-orders went up, it was like DEFCON, like insane in the studio. We were, luckily, yeah, because we do, uh, we have our Patreon now where we ship out, you know, we, every quarter we ship out like a gift package. And Kevin and Sean were at the office many late hours, putting them together and all that stuff. And I was there, I was like editing or something that night. Right. So we were all there kind of late, and around 10.30 p.m., Best Buy went up. And it was like, everything screeched to a halt. <laughs> Best Buy! Get to Best Buy, don't go up now! And you just hear people running down the stairs, people are jumping off balconies. <laughs> and so we were all able to get them on, uh, on Best Buy. But then uh, Kevin and I were there later at around like 1.40 in the morning, Amazon put up like a weird link where it didn't list the name correctly, but it was all the same info, like the price and the release date. And it was like, ooh, we should just order that anyway. Okay. And I think it was legit. I think it just hadn't updated yet or something. So we were able to get, we were able to secure, you know, we have fail safe in case one site falls or something. We have the other one. Because now Amazon is saying like they might not be able to do it in time or whatever. But I think Best Buy, and it's, uh, it's I, I got two because I thought, well surely my mom will want one. Because my mom loved the Super Nintendo back in the day. I was like, that'll be a, a thoughtful Christmas gift. You know, I'll look really good, you know. And then I got a text from her late that night like, hell yeah, I got the Super Nintendo. <laughs> She got it on Best Buy, and so uh, we, I, you know, we were thinking like, man, it seems like everyone who wanted one got one. Cool. Went to bed that night. The next day, I woke up. My timeline was hellfire. It was just, <laughs> I can't believe it. I, you know, so it was like, oh, no, nobody else got one. Okay. So with your, you're saying with your digital influence, you got two. Uh, I can't. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> But I may give one away, you know, out of generosity. Secret prize! Oh, yeah, secret that would be, prize. wouldn't that be a cool secret prize? Yeah, would it? <laughs> if you ordered a Mega 64 shirt and you got an SNS, <laughs> <laughs> that fucking insane. Yeah, but, you, but selling it on eBay would be more, would I make more money. <laughs> so, I've been a huge fan for a while, and one of the things that always blows, away, blows me away about Mega 64 videos is the collaborations with the people in the industry, like, Shigeru Miyamoto and Hideo Kojima and all those, and what would Tom you say? Tom Rico and Johnny <laughs> Johnny Dust. Yes, <laughs> that too. What would you say would be the most memorable collaboration with any of those? Yeah, I think I think I think the most memorable. Uh, you know what? One of the most memorable for me was a non-collaboration, sort of. So uh, the answer. Yeah. <laughs> Warren, we did a video for Warren Spector, who created oh, Deus Ex and stuff like that. And at the time, he was actually he was under contract by Disney um, because he was doing Epic Mickey 2. He was under he, they wouldn't let him appear on camera, so he was like, "I'd love to do a cameo, but I, I actually can't unless Disney like is there for us shooting the video." And it's like, "No, oh, no thanks." <laughs> so we had Cliff in the video instead, or whatever, and, uh, and we did it that way, and. Uh, and I think we showed it at the award show or something like that, and Warren Spector was backstage, and he was like, that was really cool, that was really great. You do that again, I'll kill you, but that was really cool. <laughs> <laughs> like, he, yeah, he, but he was kidding, obviously. He didn't kill us. He, he was a good sport. He was always, like, giving us a hard time. But it, yeah. He's, yeah, he's a cool guy. Uh, like, the memorable one for me was Ken Kudowaki filming before, yeah. like, in San Francisco, because we had, like, half an hour with him, and he was, like, so game. Yeah. Like, he was... Awesome. We had him do like three takes on like this rooftop. Whoa, get Kuroki, you're so handsome. And it's like he was awesome. Yeah. And then we sat in front of like a green screen at like the hotel and he read these lines. He nailed it. And it was like, man, he puts like this like little spice in that video in Kuroki's way that I think is awesome. Yeah. There are a couple of things that we've done. I mean, a lot of it is all really cool. Um, I said this a little trick before about like the second year we did it, we had um, Kojima in our video, especially when we met him. And we had him like, okay, well, we had me in the middle of the year before, and he just looked at us. That was good. But what if I could even did stuff with us? But then the whole conversation was like, he doesn't want to do this. Like, this is like embarrassing. It's stupid. We hate doing it. He's going to hate doing it. And so it was me and Kojima and Derek behind a corner about to go out in public and like, do a skit. And I was like, oh, I feel so bad making him do this. This is terrible. And he goes like this to me. <laughs> Oh shit, he's into this. Like, 
that would look like that would be awesome. <laughs> so uh, that would probably look something for me. And then I had a lot of fun filming with uh, Sakaguchi of Final Fantasy. Yeah. Just because when we were going to go film it, he showed up with like this huge entourage, and like he was like dressed nice, and like he was very serious. And then as we started filming, he got way into it. And then he started going crazy with the keyboard dancing on it. And then we had to do like the rap music video stuff. He kept throwing up this sign. And, like, well, and, and, if you remember, he was a little timid at first. And he, you know, he's playing it comedically. And then someone mentioned like, yeah, this video, hey, this is going good. This is going to turn out even better than the one you did with Kudaragi. And then he went like that. And then he said something in Japanese. And they were like, oh, he didn't know Kudaragi did a video. <gasps> yeah. And they watched it. On, on like somebody's iPhone, and it was like, <laughs> <laughs> and they were like, he, was, he is determined to do even better than Kuro. <laughs> that's, that's when you got the takes where he's like ripping up the notebook and yeah. he is <laughs> like, he was like trying to outdo Kuro. Yeah. It was awesome. He, he still does photos where he's like yeah. doing this thing. Yeah. And he, dude, that guy's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy to see like a uh, competition between your guests. That's right. <laughs> well, the best was we got Miyamoto first, and if you say no after you know, then you're an asshole. <laughs> you got the best first. You can't say no to anybody else. Anyways, thank you. Uh, thank you very much. What's the saddest video game related thing you've ever done? I mean, yeah, de the Dead or Alive Extreme VR. <laughs> <laughs> I had to check that out. <laughs> check, check it out. How much time you put into it with the VR? Nothing, like 60 hours. <laughs> that Dead or Alive VR, I haven't done it, but I took, when I was editing the podcast, he was talking about it, so I wanted to get a clip of it from YouTube, just to you know, show up what he's referencing. I got so uncomfortable just watching that, it was, oh. Well, because he's looking up these perv's channels. Like, you get, when, you, when you put it on yourself, you're just like, okay, this is all happening going on. You're in for, the channels for, like, are, are creeps. There are people going like that. The no. best justification. It's a girl wearing, I mean, the smallest bikini in the world. Right. Jump up and down, and then they freeze the camera, and then like go at like, every angle of her boobs. Like, what is this? Right, right. Why would you upload this? If you watch those gross videos, yeah. they don't play like Rocco does, which is to watch the girls from a distance. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, it's, cool being, it's, it's just cool being on a beach, you know? <laughs> Um, in your Madden 18 behind the scenes video, you mentioned how um, you opened your laptop 
and Numa Numa was playing and you were absolutely mortified. Uh, do you have any other experiences like that with any other devs? Uh, yesterday at our own booth, uh, we were like just being down our booth and I went like this. And uh, the creator of Katamari was taking a picture of our booth. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be a good one. Uh, uh, when we walked through the lobby of, we were staying at a hotel in San Francisco and uh, went to a convenience store and we're all in like our bathing suit trunks and like uh, flip flops carrying bags of Doritos and he's got like beer. And we walked through the lobby and it was like Hideo Kojima and Suda51. Like, hey, how's it going? It's like, oh, uh, good. Yeah, it's, it's like, not the most flattering moment, you know, so. And, uh, and I've told this story before, but I'll tell it again. Uh, we were in San Francisco, uh, we were about to go down to film, and I was in my room, so I, I, I was really hungry, so you know those like, peanut butter cracker uh, things, you can, like, the Ritz crackers with peanut butter? Yeah. I had like three of them, I put them all in my mouth, for some unknown reason, and got in the elevator, and it was on this, <laughs> and then the doors open, and Tony Hawk walks in. <laughs> Was there ever like a moment where a family member, or a guest, or um, friend said no to something you requested in terms of a video? Oh yeah, Kevin all the time. <laughs> Kevin doesn't want to play a character. Kevin wants to be watched in all of the videos that Kevin's in. Kevin is Kevin. <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah, I love that's him. not true. He was the the hick guy once. He was Sparky Crackers. No, that's back then. That's back to his roots. That's, that's, that's his family roots. That's, so the person who says no, that's Kevin. Fine. But you're good anyway, Kevin. Way to go.